the situation room. Commander, the council has requested a word. Hello, Commander. We require your assistance with a unique matter. We expect that you will give it the same level of attention as you would for any other project objective. One of the captives abducted by the aliens has somehow managed to escape. If you could retrieve this woman, she may have valuable insight into the aliens' operation. We'll transmit the coordinates now. Farewell, Commander. We know you will not disappoint us. This sounds dodgy. Sounds like we better get to it. Council mission. Target extraction. We've accepted a... a we've intercepted a signal indicating that an abductee was able to escape alien captivity. And there is a limited window of opportunity to attempt an extraction. By the time your troops are on the ground, Central should have our complete intelligence report available. Uh, rewards, lots of money, panic reduction, and scientists. Well, I think I think they've grayed out not now, so I have to launch the mission. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. Okay, let's launch this mission. I'm wondering when the tutorial is going to run out. Dropship has arrived. You'll be heading into Japan for the next mission. You're looking for an Anna Singh, the only person known to have escaped from alien captivity. Our mission is to locate her somewhere on that block and get her out of there. A high-value target requires an escort for evacuation to XCOM HQ. However, hostile units in the area are on a high alert and will attempt to counter our extraction team. Find the target, escort the target safely to the extraction point, and protect the target at all costs. Okay. That's a big sniper rifle. Take note of the extraction zone, people. As soon as Anna Singh has been located, you are to bring her back here for immediate evac. Okay. I wish I could zoom out a bit more, see a little more of the map. I just feel like I'm a bit too close to what's going on and I can't really get a tactical overview. Which is a bit of a problem considering, you know, that this is a, um, ta a tactical game. That seems to be the edge of a map there. Oh! You can zoom out by holding G and back in by holding T. You can change the camera zoom by holding that and moving the mouse up and down. Oh, thank you! It's also G and T. Now, is it me, or did the did the tutorial just psychically know what it was I was trying to do? There we go. Right, I can see what's going on now. Okay, we've got a large open square. Single-story bus. Lots of buildings. Okay, Felix Forres. Um, sniper. Support, you've got the smoke grenades now. Jeff Perry with the frag grenade. Okay, so you're my heavy with the rocket launcher. Okay, I suppose I don't really know what the situation is right now, so I just want to get everyone into cover and into overwatch mode. Um, Felix Forrest. That alien is unusually human in its appearance. 
They could be using it as an infiltration unit of some kind. Oh, Lord. I'd recommend capturing it for further analysis. Um, how? You know, I don't, I don't have any stun stuff. So, forty-seven uh, percent. Let's see. Can can my sniper unit get a shot off? No targets available. Well, let's see if we can't change that. Still no targets available. Okay. Put you in overwatch mode. You cannot move and fire this weapon on the same turn. Interesting. Okay, so I switched him to the pistol and stuck and stuck him into overwatch mode. Alright. Could launch the rocket, but I think I only get one of those a turn. So let's just machine gun. Oh, I think we got it. Okay, and you. Let's move you out to there. Overwatch. Okay, alien's turn. Alright. Right. Sniper dude, dash to there. There and overwatch. Alright, so what I'm thinking is I want to get my sniper up onto the top of this bus where he'll have a nice commanding view of the entire area. Um, and everyone else, I just want to sort of move along bit by bit. Keep them in a nice overwatch. to check the outer edge. Okay, no alien activity yet. You, can you get on top of this? Yes, but only by dashing. to there and I'm gonna be doing this a lot move move then overwatch move then overwatch it's the safest way it means that when they end it when the aliens unexpectedly pop up as I'm sure they will Move you to there. Okay, first thing I want to do is see whether I can set up the sniper. Um, switch weapons and Overwatch. There we go feel a little safer about moving my other guys forwards now. Hostile spotted. Hmm. I have to move my sniper forwards a bit, I think. Um, can you frag grenade? Too far. I 
only a 25% chance. Oh well. Yep, it was. Don't worry, you've got backup coming. Come to there. He can't see the enemy yet, but I'll stick him in overwatch. And this guy... Oh, the map rotates the way I don't expect it to. Let's move him up to there. What are they going to do? I have no idea what's going on. Oh, one of them's running for it. No longer a threat. Yeah. You destroyed his plasma pistol though. Stop doing that. I want those plasma pistols. Can't move and shoot with the sniper rifle in the same round, so let's move him forwards with the pistol. And stick him in Overwatch. Perry. Just gonna Moved by the numbers. Hmm. Watch. And you. Let's bring you around here. Soldier or alien will fire at any hostile target that moves within their field of vision. Yes, we know this. Okay, there was a second alien here somewhere, but he's moved on me. There he is. If I switch to that weapon... Oh, I can shoot. No, I can't. Hang on, you cannot... Yeah. So I'm going to have to try and take him out with a pistol. That doesn't do much damage. Okay. Good shot. Alright, I think this guy's going to have the best chance to get line of sight, isn't he? Yep. Oh, I'm coming. Ah. Oh, he took damage. Okay, so that's his health bar there. Okay, we're in trouble. Yeah, next time you might not have a next time. Um, move up to there. Overwatch mode. Oh, we're in trouble. Hmm. He's going to be returning fire on us now. A bit worried about that. They missed. Oh, he shot at me. Okay. Now we get to sniper rifle. Let's do a headshot, shall we? <laughs> Hostile neutralized. Hostile very neutralized. Um, right, who's most advanced? to that. It's a nice 
nice heavy bit of cover there. Oh! Help me! Over here! Okay, we found our target. Um, let's see if you can just da dash forwards. You should be relatively safe if I dash you to there. It's full cover. Time to kick this sucker off. Oh. Oh dear. Oh good, he's running. They're trying to flank us. Got a lot of heat on me. That thing's gonna blow. Over here! I'm here! Okay. Um he's flanked. But there's only one enemy on him. I suppose it just means that he doesn't have any cover towards that enemy. Right. Can you get a shot off on this guy? It seems not. You should be able to. Oh, it's go time! Ah. Cover my flank! I'll choose my targets now. Um. All right. Can you take that guy out? All right. I'm considering a frag grenade, but I want to make sure that I don't hit her. No, let's just shoot. Oh dear. I should have moved him into better cover first. Alright, Perry. That would be dashing. Five shoots. <sighs> Missed. Alright, you've got two people on you. This one doesn't have cover. Yeah, this one's not gonna know what hit it. Um I oh, can't move and shoot in the same turn, I keep forgetting. Well, it's got a hope. No Damn. round. Enemy is still alive. Oh, I've moved. I've moved these people into a really nasty position, haven't I? It's because my. It's because I don't have any sniping shots. I was kind of counting on them. Okay, I'm going to dash him to there. Oh no, I lost someone. I've lost Kennedy. Whoa. Ev evac! We need emergency evac now! Now, damn it, now! Evac! We need emergency evac! Oh god, now. we're panicking. Okay, well, at least he panicked by shooting. <laughs> Where are you? Help! Yeah, um, I think I've just lost... I... Oh, no. Okay, a grenade got thrown by him, didn't it? When he said that thing's gonna blow. I didn't realise it was a grenade. Um, so I'm down to one person. Well, okay, the other two are alive, but I can't use them this turn. Okay, I'm going to dash this person over to here. So at least I can start the escort mission. You have to help me! There's just so many of them! They're everywhere! We have to get out of here! I don't know who you are, but I'd probably be dead right now if you hadn't shown up. 
Yeah. Commander, we should get the VIP back to the Sky Ranger as soon as possible. You might still be dead because I think I've screwed this mission. Okay, so now I can control her as well. Um. Full bit of cover there. I think it's away from where the enemy are. I certainly hope so. Okay. Um, you. Out of ammo, reload. Well, where is the enemy? There. Let's do this! Um, I'm just trying to see whether or not I can get anyone else over there to help this guy. I mean, I can dash someone all the way there, but then they won't actually be able to shoot anyway. Alright, I'm going to run into the cover here. He's going to try and move into a flanking position this way. I think it's worth him running over here. Because it'll be slightly further away. Those things. They had so many bodies in there. I just don't understand it. Alright, full cover there. Strike one. We've got a wave of x-rays closing on your location. Eyes up. Oh no. We've got to get out of here quick. Incoming fire! Hmm. 40% chance. Trying to work out what they can each see. So he's got a 52% chance against that guy and a 65%. Oh, he's up on the roof. I don't suppose I can get a sniped shot from you, can I? No, because if you move, then you can't shoot. Thank God you found me. I would have ended up just like all the others. Okay, I need you to shoot that guy and get him. Flip. Um. All right, fire rocket. Stop it. Why'd you do that? It's very annoying the way it flickers all over the place when you're trying to do this. Right, hopefully that will actually hit the top. Right. Um, last two guys. Um... That's full cover, and I think I might get a shot with the pistol. But 
Better than nothing. Miss the target. Okay. Um. The en the the aliens might come in from any direction. I'm gonna run her to there. Wow. That was probably a mistake. Oh. Oh, maybe not. All right, he's critically wounded. I really want him to be able to just just run away. Um, he's also wounded, I think. I just run into point blank range and machine gun him. Then again, he could do that. Right. I don't think that guy's got any Overwatch left, so. there and kill him he's down out of ammo here all right moving on the pistol move to there and overwatch uh, you stay close Move him first. And head down. Oh, good, that increases her defense. Uh, Overwatch. Okay. Ooh, are we going to get out of this alive? Depends how many more aliens are going to show up. That poor guy who's been who's bleeding to death. Just make a run for it. Let's just move the people out as quickly as we can, I think, at this stage. And you... If you go there and then hunker down. Enemy forces headed your way, Strike One. Get ready. Okay, where are they? That's what I want to know. Okay, move to there with Overwatch. And I'll do the same for the guy who's just carrying a pistol. And Perry, um, are you actively bleeding to death or are you actually getting better? Don't know, you're still just down on that one. I want you to dash around to there, because I don't know where the enemy are going to come from. And you stick with him. Come on, dash. Stay alert, Strike One. You've got hostile forces about to hit your position. Ooh, hello. Well... Well, I had Overwatch. Okay, let's see whether 
Let's see whether the sniper can do his job. Headshot, 25% chance. There. And make sure no one surprises us. Okay, I want you to dash to the outer position there. Because the civilian's gonna dash to the inner position. We're receiving reports of heavy X-ray activity in that area. Enemy forces are likely closing on your location. <laughs> this is just a continuous stream, isn't it? It's like never going to stop. Okay. Um, can we get to the evac zone? Not quite. Get pretty close, though. difficult to know where to take the cover when you don't know what direction the attack's going to come from. So let's try that. Um, okay, looks like you can make it to the evac zone. Okay, we don't want to run through that. Okay, the civilians in the evac zone. Thank you. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Oh, and that ended the mission. Executed to the numbers, strike one. Get back here on the double. <sighs> Unfortunately, we lost an operative. Okay, 5th of March, 2015. Right, Squaddy Aeron has been promoted to Corporal. It's like a choice. I can snapshot, remove the, strife, uh, remove the sniper's restriction on firing and overwatch after moving. Shots taken suffer a minus 20% 20, 20 aim policy, or Squad Sight allows firing at targets in any ally's sight radius. Ah! Now that's what I wanted to do, was I wanted to be able to take shots that other people could see, even though he, you know, even though it was beyond their line of sight. Um, ooh, they're both quite interesting. I'm going to go with squad sight on this. Are you sure? Confirm. Um, our heavy has been promoted to a sergeant. Alright, he gets bullet swarm. Firing the primary weapon as the first action no longer ends the turn. So he can shoot and then move. Or hollow targeting. Shooting at or suppressing enemies also confers plus 10 aim to any allies' attacks on those enemies. Hmm. So if he shoots at people, it makes other people better better able to hit at them. But I like bullet swarm. I like I would like the option to be able to shoot and then move. Confirm. And last of all, um, our rookie has been promoted, although he's gravely wounded. Twelve days is going to be off. The assault class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight, and the last ones out. Okay, we've got our we've got a basic assault squaddy here. That's pretty good. And he's gained the ability run and gun allows firing or overwatch after dashing. On the turn, run and gun is activated. Okay. So I can dash and then shoot as well, but only once every few turns. That's excellent. And unfortunately, Squaddy Ryan Kennedy killed in action. Uh, Twelve weapon fragments, three thin man corpses, and four sectoid corpses. Uh, good thing you were there when you did. We don't think she would have lasted much longer. Nice work, Commander. So... 
uh, lots of money, panic reduction, and even more scientists. Remember, we will be watching. Mm -hmm. And the tutorial continues. Ah, sorry about my plan is, my plan was to just sort of record the tutorial and then just sort of get it out there, sort of in a very unedited form. Um, so you guys could start requesting troops and stuff like that. Well, it seems that the um, tutorial still continues. Situation Commander, room. good news. The Council has donated a satellite. Our current satellite uplink facility can support up to two satellites, so I recommend we launch the new one immediately. Good. Go ahead. Launch it. Uh, launch satellite. Begin monitoring. Begin monitoring UFO activity in a new country by expanding XCOM satellite coverage. Launch satellite. Uh, one available. One of two in orbit. Um, United States. One eighty per month. Launch satellite. North America. Plus one scientist per month. Two satellites. Plus one scientist engineer. Okay. So select a country t and launch the satellite there. Um. Okay, I can select the countries here. So... So the different nations will add different amounts of money. And then based on what continent it's in, I get different bonuses. So Europe, I currently have a satellite there. Okay, I'm tempted to go with China. Because I think it's in the same region as Australia. And they've both got pretty high panic levels. And so I want to be able to monitor alien activity in that area so I can keep it down. So launch satellite. Um, China. Travel time four days. Monthly funding increase plus 100 per month. If launched, we will have satellite coverage over one quarter countries in Asia. So, yep. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. Ah. Warning, we have no interceptors in range of this satellite. We will not be able to engage any alien craft that we detect. We should transfer interceptors to this continent as soon as possible. With this additional satellite in place, we've gained a significant upgrade to our overall coverage. I recommend we begin scanning for alien contacts right away. So once again, it's forcing me to advance the game. So, okay, the colors are the panic levels. Might be. So once again, it's forcing me to advance the game until such time as the satellite's up, because I can't go back to the base and do other stuff. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive. Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuromuscular... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. They want stun rods. Interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. 
Um, I'm right here. <laughs> Xenobiology, research complete. Assign new research. And the satellite is in operation over... Okay. New objective, capture a live alien. Okay, well, well I'll accept that. Alien containment available for construction. Research report. Xenobiology. We've managed to successfully map the alien specimen's entire genome, although I wasn't entirely sure it would be possible using our existing DNA sequencing techniques. However, our success has led to the startling realisation that this creature's genetic structure is quite similar to our own. This discoverer has piqued the interest of the research team, as it only raises more questions as to the origin of this species. Having examined several alien corpses, we've also observed a trend. Key components of the alien's genetic structure are mirrored perfectly across each of the specimens. Although it is presumptive at this point to draw conclusions as to how this is possible, I believe it is only logical to assume this alien is the product of aggressive genetic engineering, well beyond anything conceived of, um, of on Earth. If the aliens are truly capable of this sort of manipulation at the cellular level, I fear we may have only scratched the surface of their technological advantages over us. In any case, further research is imperative. And while we've obviously made a number of discoveries working with the alien corpses, I feel we may need to acquire a live specimen if we truly hope to find the answers to these questions. Yep, yeah, so that's why we need an alien containment and stun rods. Commander, based on Dr. Valen's report, I recommend we begin researching the new weapon she's calling the Arc Thrower in the labs. Once completed, we can send the plans down to engineering for fabrication, and then equip one of our troops with it in the barracks. Dr. Shen and the engineering team are also waiting on approval for construction of the containment facility that we'll need, in order to house the alien captive. Commander to engineering. Commander to engineering. New facility available. Alien containment. Provide a secure environment to house the alien captives and allow you to interrogate them. Uh, use the build facilities option in the engineering to construct this facility. So, engineering. Commander. No doubt you are aware of Dr. Valen's request to capture one of the aliens. A sound plan, but she fails to realize that we lack a facility to safely contain a live specimen. With your approval, my team and I will begin construction of a suitable facility. Okay, so we can build by items and build facilities. Expand the XCOM base. Ah! Select Build Facility. Hmm, I wonder what the Steam stuff is. So it's only letting me have two places I can put it. Next to the satellite uplink or next to the access shaft. Um, I'll put it over there, because it occurs to me that I need more, sa uh, more satellite uplinks at some point. Uh, select alien containment to start building. Laboratory satellite uplinks, power generators, and thermo generators. That's what the steam's about. If I build a, put a thermo generator there, that's good. Select alien containment to start building. Yeah, you've you've buried it down there, haven't you? Time to build seven days. Project cost five power, and it's eighteen every month. Begin construction. Thank you, Commander. I'll let you know when the facility is ready. Dr. Valen has asked to see you, Commander. No doubt she wishes to explain her plan personally 